Have you ever wondered which coffees in the world cost the most? You thought your daily latte was on the pricey side, didn't you? Then you should think again, because we're about to show you the world's most expensive coffees. Some of these unique coffees are grown on farms in Panama, Hawaii, and Thailand. You'll be amazed at how they are made. Warning, you might not want to drink a couple of them after this. Here is a list of the world's 10 most expensive coffees. But before we start our countdown, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon as well. 10 Hawaiian Kona Dash Dollar 35 Slash Pound The first of our 10 most expensive coffees on our list is Hawaiian Kona, which costs $35 per pound. For something to be called Kona coffee, it has to come from the Kona districts in Hawaii. In Kona, the weather and soil are perfect for growing coffee beans. Most of the day is sunny with little wind and a light rain shower in the afternoon. The volcanic lands have made the soil very mineral rich. Hawaiian Kona is known for having a great taste, and its taste can only be described as unique. People think the beans are very rare and there aren't enough of them, so producers mix pure Kona beans with cheaper beans to make a cheaper blend. Most packets will have about 10% that are 100% pure Kona. If you want to get the most out of Kona, look for packages that say 100% Kona coffee. 9 Lost Plains Dash Dollar 40 Slash Pound Lost Plains is a coffee plantation in El Salvador that is run by a family. It's the first coffee on our list to have won awards, like second place at the Cup of Excellence in 2006 and sixth place at the same event in 2011. This award-winning coffee comes in some unusual flavors, like tangerine with threads of caramel and brown sugar. It costs $40 per pound, which is pretty high, but Lost Plains has built up a large group of loyal customers who love the different flavors and refreshing taste. The ninth most expensive coffee in the world is Lost Plains Coffee. 8 Fazenda Santa Ines Dash Dollar 50 Slash Pound The next coffee bean is Fazenda Santa Ines, which comes from Brazil and costs about $50 per pound. It grows in Brazil near the base of the Mantaquira Mountains and is known for having a fruity, sweet taste. With more than 100 years of experience growing coffee, Fazenda Santa Ines has a large fan base all over the world, which makes it easy to justify its $50 per pound price. It came in 8th place at the 2009 Cup of Excellence competition, and critics say it's a great cup and a good deal. 7 Jamaican Blue Dash Dollar 50 Slash Pound Jamaican Blue, which costs $50 per pound, is grown at about 5,000 feet in the Jamaican Blue Mountains. The soil in the area where coffee beans grow is fertile and gets a lot of rain all year long, which helps the beans grow well. People often say that it has a mild taste and doesn't have any bitterness or unpleasant aftertastes. Jamaican Blue found an audience in Japan that liked it, and it has become a huge part of Japanese culture. Now, Japan is the biggest country that brings in the brand. Not everything is clear about why this is, but it's most likely because of the mild taste, which is liked by people who can't stand bitter coffee. 6 Molokai Dash Dollar 51 Slash Pound Molokai is by far the best Hawaiian grown coffee on the market. It is grown in Hawaii, which could be thought of as the best state in the United States for growing coffee. It is grown, made, and roasted in Kuala Pu'u, Maui County, which has some of the best conditions for growing coffee in the world. This, along with years of skill and improvement, allows Molokai to be sold for about $51 per pound. 5 St. Helena Dash Dollar 79 Slash Pound St. Helena is the fifth most expensive coffee in the world. It costs about $79 per pound. St. Helena is an island in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean about 1,200 miles from the west coast of Africa. It is best known for being the place where Napoleon Bonaparte was jailed. Its location has a lot to do with how the coffee grows, and those conditions can't be found anywhere else in the world. Also, it's a pretty hard place to export from geographically, which does add to the $79 price tag. But because of how good it tastes, it has gained a lot of fans, so the company can charge a lot more for making coffee that people like. 4. Kopi Luwak Dash Dollar 160 Slash Pound Kopi Luwak Coffee, which costs about $160 per pound, is probably the most well-known and well-known coffee on this list. The way the producers get the coffee beans is what makes this expensive coffee interesting and different from the rest. Kopi Luwak is made in Indonesia by feeding coffee cherries to Asian palm civets, which are small mammals that eat meat, and then waiting for the coffee beans to come out of the civet's poop. When these unusual animals eat, they ferment the coffee cherries. This lets out enzymes that give the beans their unique flavor. Because of this unusual method, 
Kopi Luwak brings a lot of tourists to Indonesia every year who want to try the local coffee. In honor of the animal it comes from, Kopi Luwak is also called civic coffee. 3 Hacienda La Esmeralda dash dollar 350 slash pound. Hacienda La Esmeralda is third on our list of the most expensive coffees in the world. Hacienda La Esmeralda has become one of the best coffee farms in the world. At a recent auction, their coffee sold for $350 per pound because they have customers all over the world and can charge what they are worth. On the side of Mount Baru in Panama, under the shade of guava trees, the coffee is grown. Its success comes from the fact that it has been around for a long time and has a lot of experience and knowledge. It also has a strong commitment to quality. Over the years, Hacienda La Esmeralda has won a lot of competitions and won a lot of awards. 2 Finca Allinger $2.500 plus slash pound. Finca Allinger 2 coffee, which costs more than $500 per pound, is the second most expensive coffee in the world. Most of the reason this coffee costs so much is because the small, rich beans it is made from are so hard to find. Rare things often cost a lot of money, and this coffee is no different. But it's clear why the coffee is so expensive. Finca Allinger 2 has won the Cup of Excellence seven times and come in second place the other times it didn't win. Finca Allinger 2 also has a unique way of cleaning the grain that makes it better. The beans are washed in a single channel and broken down twice. People who know and love coffee all over the world have come to love this brand and are willing to pay the high price tag of $500 or more. One Black Ivory Coffee Dash Dollar 1 comma 000 plus slash pound. Black Ivory Coffee costs more than any other coffee in the world. It starts at about $1,000 per pound but is sold for up to $1,500 per pound in the past. The Black Ivory Coffee Company is based in Northern Thailand. Like the Kopi Luwak coffee we just talked about, they have come up with a unique way to make coffee that most people would find hard to believe. On their plantation, the elephants that work for Black Ivory Coffee are fed Arabica cherries to make coffee. From there, they wait until the elephant breaks down and digests the cherries, and then they pick the beans out of its poop. Like the civet's digestive system, the elephant's digestive system adds new flavors to the beans by breaking down proteins that give the beans a bitter taste. This is similar to what happens when the beans pass through the civet's digestive system. This process makes sure that black ivory coffee can make a smooth, unique cup of coffee that tastes great. Black ivory coffee costs $1,000 per pound because only a few cherries make it through the production process. This is because the animals either chew on them too much, they pass them out, or they break them up. We hope you liked our list of the world's 10 most expensive coffees. Tell us what you think about the video in the comments section below. Also don't forget to subscribe our channel for more top 10 lists and press the bell icon for all the latest updates. Thanks for watching.